What's up friends? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth. This is EJ Joyful Plans and in today's video I'm opening up a planner subscription box from The Fabulous Planner. This is the first time I've ordered a box from The Fabulous Planner and truth be told I ordered it because my friend Desiree collabed on this box. Happy to Plan was the collaborator with The Fabulous Planner and when she said she was doing this I was like girl let me support you. And if you collabed with this box, I'm probably gonna like it. So let's open this up. It was not sent to me. I did pay for it with my own cold hard cash. And as per the usual, I'll always give an honest impression whether or not I received something or I paid for something, you know, man, just keep it real. So let's get into it. I did pre-cut it, but I don't know what's inside guys. Um, and oh my goodness, I'm so, oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Okay. So I don't remember how much this was. I want to say it was like $32. There were two different types of boxes, the luxury box and the classic and yeah, special collab, happy to plan with Desiree, the luxury box. So this tells us what's in it. Ooh, look, next month's box theme is Barbie. Well, that's cute. Dude, do I get it again? I don't know. Ah. Okay, so here is items from the luxury box, which is what I got. So the difference between the classic and the luxury, let me see. So da -da 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 -da. I think the difference is the laminated dashboard and the set of planner inserts for the month. So if you just want an accessories and you don't want any inserts for your planner, just get the classic. And then if you want the laminated dashboard and planner inserts for the month, then you choose the luxury. That I think is the difference between the two. So let's see what's inside. Handmade with love. So this is a small shop in Southern California. Cute, 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 cute. Oh, cute. I love an enamel pin. Okay, yeah, this is adorable. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out everything just so I can see things more clearly. Yes, um, there has to be washi tape if it is a collab with Desiree. Ooh, cute ruler, cute. Okay, oh my gosh, you guys, I'm sorry. So much cute, I know, I know, it gets annoying. Okay, so let's start with this pen. This is really pretty. I think it's going to be a gel pen. It's a 0.5. It's got a really pretty color, kind of a spreckle, speckled um, green. Grab my notepad. Oops, it's got a little thing on it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Nice. Happy to plan. Yeah, that's nice. That's a nice pen, y'all. This is a Keiko green pen, 0.5, 0 0.5 gel pen. I like it. I approve. This is a nice pen. So I wonder what what items she had directly to, like, wh which ones Desiree got to choose and then which is just part of um, what the fabulous planner chose. So we have the pen and then we have a ruler. This is a copper it's really heavy. It feels like it's really metal. Yeah, that is a heavy ruler. Copper, although maybe it's rose gold. I don't know, but it works. Cute. So we have a ruler. That's a nice ruler. Let's see. Then we have an enamel pin. I have a sticker for that. Adorable pin. I like it. That is cute. I have a sticker for that. Really nice enamel pin. That's adorable. Adorable. Let me make sure y'all can still see everything that's coming out. Should we do the, let's do these big ones. There are dreamers and there are planners. The planners make their dreams come true. Oh, okay. So let's take a look at this. So we have two journaling cards. There are dreamers and there are planners. The planners make their dreams come true. If the plan doesn't work, change the plan, not the goal. These are a nice card stock. I could see these going really nicely in a planner. I'm not really using journaling cards these days, but these are super cute. So I could see myself just kind of gluing them in. And then let's see what we have. Ah, okay. 
There are dreamers and there are planners. The planners make their dreams come true. So this is your laminated dashboard. I love this design, it's so pretty. And then here is the insert pages. Again, really pretty design. Ooh, okay. So let me move this stuff out of the way. So here is your monthly layout. So this is part of the luxury box. Can you all see that okay? Yeah. So, oh, that's really pretty. Look how it has like the design, like really faint in the boxes. So here's your monthly. Or is this your weekly? This looks like a monthly. Or is it like a subject layout? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess you could use it as one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. I guess you would use it as a weekly. Is there any explanation for the type of insert? Let me think about this for a second. I mean, I guess you would put your subjects here and then you could plan that way. So it is like a subject layout. Could you do this monthly? I guess you could use it as a monthly too with some renegotiating, but that's kind of a nice, it's an interesting paper, smooth, got a nice thickness to it. That's really pretty. I've never seen inserts like this before, but I think it's most like a vertical or a subject slash teacher layout. Really love it with that design. So here is a month's worth of weekly planning pages in the luxury box. So I guess if you wanted to, you could just get the luxury box every month and use the weekly planning pages that come in that month's box for the upcoming month. You know what I mean? Ooh, cute. Okay, next, let's take a look. Should we do the washi? Actually, no, let's do this next. What is this? This looks like little sticky notes. It is, so fabulous planner, happy to plan sticky notes. Yep, so these are just paper sticky notes in a cute little kind of tab shape. And like that. Let's take a look at these stickers. These are like die cut. I don't know, oh, they are die cut stickers. Oh my goodness, there's a lot. All right. Hopefully you guys can see these okay. These are cute. Cute, cute, cute. A little, little turn up. Ooh, I like that there's like plant themed and then like boho design theme too. These are all die cut stickers. Haven't seen a repeat yet. These are cute. Cute! Oh my gosh. Here's our chairs. We'll put our chairs over here. Oh my gosh. There's so many different ones. Here. I think we're going to have to like, like put a few down and then push them aside. Wow, this is a lot. Wait, does that go that way? Is that a chair? <laughs> a stool? Adorable. Try to show you guys all of these. Leave no die cut behind. This is a lot of die cuts, y'all. This is a lot. That's cute. Oh my gosh. Adorable. Lots of potted plants. Lots of different kind of chairs. Oh, we got a stretching kitty cat. More potted plants. A lot of boho design elements. Some lanterns. Candle. Adorable. Adorable. Tons of die cut stickers. These are very, very cute. I would I would say these are these are very much happy to plan aesthetic. <clears throat> okay. Let's see, should we do the washi tape next? I think we should. So two very, <clears throat> very uh, popular washi tape designs. And I'm gonna say, I'm gonna get a lot of function out of these because you can never go wrong with black and white washi. Black and white washi. One is kind of like a spotty dotty 
style and the other is grid two of my favorite kinds grid's been very very popular i know maybe like a year ago i was like i'm tired of all the grid washi everyone's putting grid washi down but there's no denying it looks really good so let's see what this looks like looks like grid washi to me the question is does it pass the elizabeth rip test that is always the question. Can I rip it? Yes, I can. So some washi tape is super duper waxy and is difficult to rip. This is not overly waxy. <clears throat> so I appreciate that. That it's easy to rip. Let's check out this guy. There's your spotty dotty. Does it pass the rip test? It does. Oh, yeah. Cute. <clears throat> I fully approve of this washi tape. Yes, yes, yes. Excellent choices, Desiree. I love these. All right. We still have more, though. Pens. I love a good soft, mild highlighter. This is all in Japanese, so I'm not going to be able to read the colors. But... Let's swatch on this card if it's possible. Let's see if I can. Or here, why don't we do it on the back of this sticky note? Let's do it on the back of the sticky note. My Little Mermaid sticky note. All right, so the first is like a purpley color. Ooh, that is that does not match. But I actually like the color more that's coming out on the paper than the color of the barrel. It's kind of a mauve tone. <clears throat> Not an exact match. Ooh, that's a little brighter than expected. There's that color. Let's see what the green looks like. That's pretty close. I like that one. Here is the pink. Let's see what this one looks like, more of a blue. And this guy. That one looks exactly like that one. I'm underwhelmed by the pens, <clears throat> especially because I have pens like this that I think perform better that I got on Amazon. But not bad for a um, subscription box to get some pens. I probably wouldn't use this color. It's a little too bright for me, but they're good pens. I've just had better. So there are the pens. My honest opinion. If you've never used mild highlighters, then, you know, these might be a fun set for you to play around with. But these are not my favorite. Okay, last item in the box. I think these are sticker sheets. Yep, these are sticker sheets. And these kind of go along with the dashboard theme. So here is the first sheet. Cute, very boho, summery boho. Ooh, here's the, the imagery we saw in our inserts. Family time, self-care, and currently. Oh, this is fun. I like these headers. Remember tasks to do, weekend. These are functional headers. Savings, appointment, date night, challenge, to do, appointment tasks, update planner. These are header stickers, orders, appointments, self-care, and projects. And then we have a like a washi strip, some habit trackers, bill stickers, decorative stickers. Ooh, these are pretty. These are just decorative. I guess you could write on them too. Kind of like vertical boxes. And then a schedule sticker. So four sticker sheets. And I think that's everything, guys. So this box came with four sticker sheets, a ton of die cut stickers, two types of washi, a sticky note, a ruler, a pen, a pin, the mild highlighters, the dashboard, the weekly insert pages, and two journaling cards. This is a really fun box. This is not really like any of the other boxes I've received where it's a mix of like planner and lifestyle type items that have a higher price point. This is a fun way 
a more affordable way to decorate your planner every month with a with the theme of the box. So if you're looking to just open something up every month that has a theme and kind of sets the tone for the month and it just gives you some fun accessory items for your planner, this is a great more cost friendly or wallet friendly um, version of a subscription box because I'm pretty sure the luxury was like $32 which when you look at like the quarterly box from um, Archer and Olive you look at um, Jane's Agenda or any other box where I mean there's a lot more items in those boxes um, it's you know they cost a little bit more so this is a fun way to just dress things up for the month I think Desiree did a great job curating items for this box. I think everything here I'm going to figure out how to use. I'm not sure how I'm going to use the inserts, but I love having them. And I think the design is really interesting. These pens I'll probably gift, but I love like the theme, the colorway. I love this pen and I love the washi tape. That's like a no brainer. I'm going to use these and I'm going to use this pen for sure. So that my friends is my unboxing of the fabulous planner box the special collab with happy to play in with Desiree I don't know if boxes are still available but I will link the fabulous planner box um, website down below it's not an affiliate link I'm not an affiliate um, but if you want to check it out you're welcome to do that come hang out with me over on Instagram my handle is ejjoyful underscore plans it is always a good time and if you want to hang out with me again please consider subscribing to my channel until next time, friend, God bless you. God bless you and keep you. Do something creative today. Play with all the things. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.